everyone, I'm Dimitri with Howard Canucks, and would you take a one-way ticket to Mars? And I heard an interview recently where you said that you you would place a, a you would buy a ticket right off the bat for a one-way trip. <laughs> Absolutely, I've signed up for a few. Okay, if I ever got like like a chance to do that, I would love to like film the world's first like Martian documentary. So one of the coolest uh, VR demos that I've recently experienced is Mars 2030, which is such a fantastic way to give us realistic renders and realistic scenarios on where we VR applications could go in the future. It's not really just gaming, but you have so much also scientific things behind it that could drive VR forward. Mars 2030 is about giving you an experience what it actually is like to be on Mars. I love the experience of having an open world game and, and being able to you choose what you want to do and we want to bring that same type of freedom into Mars 2030. You're the astronaut and you get to do what you want to do. Probably can't count many games that really say I'm an astronaut and I'm doing the duties of an astronaut. But they're also working with NASA and MIT. So NASA is giving them all types of data, images of actual Mars imagery. So not something that's simulated, but physical images that have been captured by NASA have been handed over to these developers to create this Mars 2030 experience. NASA has given us everything from, from the rover models and the habitat models to be able to kind of put this all together and, and kind of extract the data from that and say, okay, how do we get this inside of Unreal? The one thing that we're sacrificing in is, is uh, there's these things called planetary protection zones, which is since we would show up on Mars and we can contaminate uh, the, uh, the Martian soil with our own basically microbiology. There are areas that they would section off that the humans could work on but nowhere else. And there are specific key areas where there could be life and then you extract the sample and then you get life but it could be a false positive and you get earth life because you just got your germs everywhere. They are using actual physics so gravity of 38% of earth gravity or 28% is actually being implemented into this uh, into the game. Everything that you see on Mars in the game is actually on Mars. Think about that. In the full experience we have about seven missions. Uh, seven missions that align with two of the two major goals that NASA has for reasoning uh, as to why to go to Mars. Everything that's been implemented with the sound design has been actually worked uh, with NASA, so they've recorded what it's like to be in the actual uh, Mars rover prototype. So they placed uh, microphones inside the rover, recorded what the sounds uh, are like, and then you get to experience that exactly. So once you're inside the rover, you can move around, and as you proceed through Mars territory, you feel and you, you see what Martian, Martian surface looks like from the outside, which is real, and then you also are hearing what the Mars rover sounds like. One of the coolest thing about the Mars rover, though, is that it's got six wheels, and they are independent of each other. So you can be moving sideways, and you can do all types of cool maneuvers, and what the developers told us was that they've actually met astronauts that train on those rovers, and uh, the parking skills, man, those are some freaking fantastic parking skills that those astronauts have. On one of our visits to uh, Johnson Space Center, we saw one of the re-entry videos. So it's 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 almost, it looks kind of like the Apollo capsule, but much more modern version. And they, they were landing it. I mean, they shot it out into space and they had it uh, re-enter. And the sounds of, of when you hear like the re-entry and the, the, the thrusters aligning so that it enters properly and the plasma that surrounds the the uh, the spacecraft is, is, a, is an insanely cool experience and we want to recreate that for VR uh, in, in Mars 2030. Unreal Engine is so popular so we hope that optimization is going to be right up there. The whole uh, map that we are told right now is eight square kilometers, which is based off real images. They're gonna be reducing that for the actual game. Um, and one of the coolest things you can see is the actual Martian crater. It's based off images that NASA has given them. It's not uh, a recreated crater. It's an actual crater that exists on Mars. And when you look over one of the surfaces, you can feel how gigantic the, the damn thing is. When you, you're driving the rover and you exit, 
basically you don't basically uh, what they're proposing is not suiting up inside but suiting up and crawling into a spacesuit so through that process we want to capture okay what does it look like to get into the spacesuit so in the experience you'll see that you you kind of crawl into a spacesuit just in the same way through a suit port that nasa is proposing and to get back to my first question of this video if you were to take a one-way ticket to mars would you i however i'm gonna go pack my bags and uh hopefully uh find matt damon I, I, I take a round trip. Oh, yeah, we sweet. One way ticket. One way. One way. One way ticket? Two way? I think the first thing I'm going to do is take the slide video straight back to Earth. I'm going to scroll, use my feet, and dig out the letters from Ma. <laughs> <laughs>